seriously, uh, the whole set that we sit on is on wheels. This dog could pull us around <laughs> yes. the studio. We that might just, be kind of fun. I've, I've said we should take this whole set. I want to run it through the parade, uh, through your festival Good parade. Good idea. Just sit on the couch hooked and up just to, wait. That would be great yeah. for the SPCA to the hook SPCA up. The SPCA to <laughs> hook up the dog team. <laughs> Jessica <laughs> Henry, obviously, from the Allen County SPCA. And who is this, this girl? This is Corilla. I'm not sure you can even. Come here, sissy. Can you get up here? Can you see her? I promise she's worth looking at. There's she's, really a dog there. There really is. Mm -hmm. There she is. She's an eight-year-old Border Collie mix. And I brought her today because at eight years old, we definitely want to make sure she gets her home sooner than later. She's so mm -hmm. sweet and she's gentle and she's adorable. And well-trained because a dog this size would have to be. Yes, exactly. She probably is not going to pull us around right. today, uh, sadly for you, but Darn. she is well-behaved and she does, uh, does do tricks for treats. And so if you're looking to uh, add a big dog to your home, then Corilla would be a great option for you. And these are smart dogs. Very. She's Border Collie Lab. Those are great. Um, Border Collies have, you know, they really like to have a job to do mm -hmm. generally. At eight years old, she probably doesn't need to work as much as she did in her younger years, but she would be a great addition because you're right. She's smart. I've heard uh, Border Collies that will uh, herd toddlers away from the stairs yes. and stories like that. And yes. uh, just smart good family dog. So she comes from a good line we're sure and of course because she's a breed mix we hope that she will be uh, healthy for many years to come and to that point we did have some blood work done on Corilla mm -hmm. uh, because we did have her spayed and she, because she's eight years old uh, when you are going to put an older dog under anesthesia blood work is important to do. We did do her blood work pre-spay and she's very healthy so All that's right. something helpful for our adopters or for her adopters mm -hmm. to know is that she's healthy she's in good shape and so she should be around for many years to come. So at eight years old, uh, it's never too late to spay or neuter a dog? No, of course you'd want to talk to your veterinarian about that, but that's why we did that pre-anesthesia blood work to make sure she was healthy enough to undergo anesthesia. And by the way, happy World Spay Day to you. Did you get me anything again? I got again? you nothing. Nothing? No. Okay. Well, we got Corilla Spade. some cookies in the break room, maybe. But, <laughs> very, yeah. very for Fat Tuesday. Yeah. But it is not too late to spay or neuter an animal. In fact, spaying and neutering isn't just about pet overpopulation. It is often about reproductive health in an animal. So, so many reproductive cancers are... Um, are as a result of not being spayed or neutered. So we highly encourage spaying and neutering at any age, so long as the pet is healthy enough to undergo the surgery. Now, this is not where, uh, as we dive into Project Runway, that's a different fund that allows you to spay and neuter versus... That's correct. Spaying and neutering is part of our general operating. Every animal is spayed or neutered prior to adoption, along with the vaccines, the microchip, mm -hmm. the deworming, all the stuff that we do. The Project Runway benefits the Angel Fund, which is an extraordinary fund to help extraordinary animals in extraordinary circumstances. Okay, well, we want to learn about Project Runway because it's days away and it's still a chance to get some tickets. Yes, they're going quick. And we'll uh, find uh, talk to uh, one of the, I almost said designers, the... Kind of, yeah, one yeah, of the groomers, groomers who are designers. No kidding. Uh, some of these pictures are fantastic. Uh, stay right there and uh, we will find out more from Jessica Henry of the Allen County SPCA. If you'd like more information on adopting, you can uh, follow them on social media a great resource to see pets instantly when they become adoptable or go to their webpage allencountyspca.org.